Hello, Dull Bed Tip Blogger here. I've just eaten a pear, but you're not here for a pear. You're here for two and a half pears. The fun, five, four, February in under five minutes. So my fingers video uh, about my favorite five fingers was very uh, popular and I uh, had lots of questions about being a zookeeper. So I thought I'd do another zookeeping fun five, five, zookeeping accidents. Number five, and I noticed one time, this is probably in about February, this possibly this time of year, that there was lots of leaves collecting on the roof between the owl enclosure and, and the roof of the building next to it. So I hopped up there to, to shuffle it all out and got my leg caught between the owl enclosure and the roof and uh, got kind of panicky and a bit scared uh, because no one was walking around the zoo. Eventually someone walked past and went, help, can you go and get another zookeeper to, to get me because my, my leg's caught on the roof here. Number four. I used to work with the Asian short clawed otters and they were on my, in my section, on my first section when I was working at the zoo. And they're, they're a really interesting animal because they're quite a social animal. They live in big groups and they all they all hang out together. And they're quite intelligent. I end up uh, having to move sections. When I went back into Ollie the Otter's enclosure, he hated me. Like, he, I could just put my foot in there and he would come charging over from the other side. Uh, and just by, there, there are several times when I jumped out of the enclosure with him hanging from my, my calves biting on my on my calves number three i used to look after ball pythons and uh ball pythons are a constrictor but they do have teeth which are more to help keep the uh, prey from getting out their mouth if they haven't crushed it properly and uh, while i was feeding a dead mouse i was wiggling it and it struck for the uh for the mouse but missed the mouse and struck my finger and just caught me with his teeth which I thought, oh, that's a bit uncomfortable. Wash my hands. Oh, a couple of days later, my finger swelled up and I started to get blood poisoning. Mm. Number two. There was a Ceriopsis goose. They're very territorial. The Ceriopsis goose would run up to you and try and whack you with his wing really hard. And, you know, eventually I got very good at catching the male Ceriopsis and I could hold him, do what I needed to do in the enclosure and then put him down and not get attacked. But learning how to, to grab him and stuff like that, so I'm alright and he's alright, was um, a bit of a trial. It gave me quite a bad cut with his claw on my, on my collarbone area. And it was bad enough of a cut for a friend of mine who was a, a street drinking big issue seller. When he saw me with my shirt off one time, walked up to me and went, Have you been stabbed, Number mate? one is my beaver. <laughs> no, leave it, leave it. <laughs> You're not very grown up, are you? Anyway, I used to look after beavers. Oh, come on, leave it. Oh. When I was draining the ponds to clean them out, one of the baby beavers got caught in one of the ponds and it was too little to get out. So I, uh, I went and jumped into the pond and picked it up I picked it up around its body, which is the wrong way to pick up a beaver, uh, even a baby beaver. And uh, they're, they're like a ball of muscle beavers. And I picked it up, and it like that. And the time it took me to bring it up there and put it to the side, it turned around and bit me through my jumper and my t-shirt and left this Nike tick scar on my arm. So that's my number one zoo accident, my beaver bite. So uh, there'll be another fun five for February in under five minutes tomorrow. Bye bye.